nothing wrong with vegetarian every once in a while. Although I added <laughs> bacon, so vegetarian including bacon. But that is uh, an awesome meal regardless whether you have the bacon in there or not. There's so much health and nutrition in that thing. So most of the meals you've seen me cook out here in the past have been high protein, high fat, and uh, and been quite a few comments about uh, my health. Uh, but of course I don't eat that way typically. I, I do eat more when I'm out here in the wild, I'm working hard, but at home I always have healthy meals. So this frittata mix is something I cook and something I make every single day at home. Tonight I'm having a almost a vegetarian meal, baked beans. So I'm making baked beans with with some beans that I grew in the garden, uh, dried beans. So typically what you would do is soak the beans overnight, but it's not necessary. That's not quite true that you have to do that. So um, I didn't do that. I just I oh, started yeah. soaking these maybe two hours ago up here and changed the water and then put water back in and just started simmering, boiling and then simmering these beans. So might be a little bit softer if you soak them overnight but I don't mind a little bit of crunch in the beans I'm gonna add a whole bunch of vegetables to this as well some homegrown tomatoes garlic onions um, zucchini a whole bunch of things that I'm gonna actually put in my frittata my breakfast tomorrow morning as well but uh, the, the beans will soak up that tomato sauce and give it a nice rich flavor bacon will give it some smokiness and so will the fire uh, normally I would put barbecue sauce in there but I usually make my own anyway I just add liquid smoke to a tomato based uh, sauce so keys to me are lots of onions garlic tomato and then whatever else I've got a whole bunch of other vegetables like peppers mushrooms and and they'll put the list I'll put the ingredients in the description below and uh, if you have any questions anyway just ask me and I'll let you know how I how I did the whole thing so trick is to get this fired to a nice uh, low heat lots of coals so that's not bubbling and boiling and burning when it evaporates the water and instead just simmers it away so I'm gonna get ready to add these vegetables now right so the beans have been simmering away for about uh, two hours now I guess I'm gonna go ahead and add the tomatoes onions tomatoes onions and garlic I think is all I have in this bag and then I have another bag of other mixed vegetables and uh, spinach that's actually going to go into the beans as well. I cooked up a bone for Callie. She's sitting there watching me, wondering why I'm talking to myself. But she's content. She's tired out from me throwing her uh, toy around the, the forest. So she's giving me a little bit of peace right now. So I'm going to get this going, get back at these logs, and then uh, come back in a couple hours and see what it looks like. It's going to add some more liquid too. I have to keep adding water, but better if I can add this tomato based uh, juice, this uh, basically tomato juice, this is going to add more flavor than of course the water is going to add. I think I'll cut up a little bit more than half of this bacon and, and put it right into the beans and I'll save a little bit for breakfast for tomorrow morning. When I make these beans at home, what I typically put in there is uh, smoked pork hock. So it just adds a lot of smoky flavor to the beans without adding much meat or much fat. So I ended up taking basically the uh, hawk out, trim a little bit off it and eat the meat, but it's really the the smoke and the rind and the and the bone that gets it the, that flavors the the beans. Um, the beans, of course, don't have a lot of fat in them, and maybe not a complete um, meal for working hard in the outdoors unless you get some some extra fat and extra calories in there. Uh, not necessary of course and of course if you're vegetarian you wouldn't add that and I often don't add meat in the beans either I like them either way I do like all these vegetables that I put in there so I think what I'll do is let that break down a little bit simmer for about an hour then I'll throw the rest of these vegetables in I'm gonna keep about half of that back for my breakfast but half of the beans half for the frittata don't need the liquid for the frittata can't believe I almost forgot one of the key ingredients in my baked beans. Maple sugar. I usually use maple syrup, but I have a whole bunch of this maple sugar left over from last year. So I'm going to, uh, so I just brought that with me. Yeah, that's good. I'm surrounded here by yellow birch trees and sugar maples. So next uh, February, March, I'm going to tap the trees up here and we'll make a whole 
huge batch of, of maple syrup and maple sugar. It's a staple in this area for indigenous peoples going back thousands of years, of course. So we're fortunate to have access to that uh, concentrated calories and it makes a great addition to a meal like baked beans. Just makes it even that much more complete and much more uh, full of calories. So I'm gonna add that in there and enjoy. Are you trying to get some of this? Do you want some beans? Beans and bacon? You go get your dish. You go get your dish and I'll give you a little bit, okay? <laughs> I'll face the camera at least. <laughs> Let it cool down, okay? Let it cool down. Okay, it's too hot, too hot. One more, no, they don't. Just let it cool. Good girl, just let it cool. It smells good, eh? Yeah, just let it cool a little bit. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yours will be cool in a minute. Big chunks of tomato. You like tomato, even raw off the vine, don't you? Spinach, onion, garlic. I'm not sure this is all good for you, but you're not going to relent, are you? You definitely having some? So they, they simmered total of maybe three hours, three and a half hours, I guess. And they're not that crunchy, actually. Tiny bit of crunch to them, but in a good way. Wildly, it's going to be out soon. Put this food away and head down to the meadow, see if we can see something. Some wolves or something. Hey, girl, you want more? Oh, I know you do. <laughs> All right. Yep. Tell you up. Big girl. Get down. Big girl. I'm gonna put it in front of you, but I want you to leave it until it's cool, okay? I'll touch it till it's cool. Hot, too hot. Good girl. Just wait a few minutes, all right? You just let it cool down. Not yet, not yet. No. Good patience. I'll let you know. Don't, no, 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 no. Not yet. It's still hot. <laughs> oh, golly. That's not good, is it? Let it cool down. Do not bark, okay? Do not bark. You wait a few minutes. 